I'm Nate Walker, and I'm on a mission to find the next generation of agenda setters. Imagine two people from two different parts of the country. Let's say that Tanya lives in Pennsylvania's second congressional district, where I currently live in Philadelphia. And Ian lives in Nevada's second congressional district, where I was raised. Tanya is a graduate student with a lot of student loans. She uploads a video onto agendasetters.tv and asks, can the interest generated from government-issued student loans go into a national tuition endowment to help more students gain access to higher education? Residents in her district compare her videos to others made by other residents in that district, and ultimately, they award her with the title of District Agenda Setter, which gives her a special meeting with her congressional representative, Shaka Fatah. Meanwhile, in northern Nevada, Ian leaves his high school government class where he learned about the death penalty, and he uploads his video. He asks, If advanced directives ensure that people's medical decisions are honored, can I create an LPAD, a life penalty advanced directive, a legal statement in my will that asks the state to honor my wish to never murder my murderer? Residents of his district soon elevate Ian to the status of district agenda setter, allowing him a meeting with Congressman Mark Amity. This process is replicated in all 435 districts throughout the country. Each agenda setter meets with their representatives to draft a congressional bill that advances their cause. The videos and draft bills are featured at agendasetters.tv and classified by subject area leaving Tanya to join the education platform and Ian to join the justice platform. By voting online, the people will determine the top 10 contestants in each platform who will be featured on the national television series called Agenda Setters. It's like American Idol, but for democracy. In the episode dedicated to education, Tanya will present her idea to a panel of experts, possibly including the U.S. Secretary of Education. And the next episode, about justice, may involve U.S. Justice Sotomayor commenting on Ian's proposal. Each episode will conclude by the American people determining the nation's agenda setters. Together with their representatives in Congress, they will introduce a bill with hopes that their idea will become law. If given the opportunity to launch agenda setters in the United States, we may just develop a democratic formula that can be replicated around the world.